Well, thank you, Linda, for letting us drop in and meet you and Ebony. Um, we can see from the, the cabinet behind you, you've quite practised with a pair of scissors. You've yes. had great success <laughs> grooming. Yes, we have. We have been very lucky. Now, in the UK, the standard and both the miniature and toy poodles are both registered in the utility group, but actually they wouldn't be out of place in a gun dog group. No, they were originally um, thought of as being a German water dog and they have been known to do gun dog work and been quite successful at it. And even now, I have had a couple of clients that have used them as gun dogs. Um, and the trim, uh, some people think they look a little bit silly perhaps when they're in a full continental show trim. It originally came from when they were hunting dogs. Right. Um, if you see any old pictures of a poodle or poodle type dog, they were in a trim not so different from this. The main hair was to keep the vital organs um, warm when they were working. Um, and then we're going back down to the back end here. The pack covering the top part of the body here um, was to keep the kidneys warm. Then you've got the knee joint, there was a band round here to keep that wet warm, and then round the ankles um, to keep the ankle joints warm. Um, the coat is a wool, so you, they don't actually molt. Um, when you brush them, you may get a bit in the, in the brush. But with regards to the coat, there has been some recent changes regarding their presentation in the show ring. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yes, originally we had to show them in the traditional show trim, which was this trim, which is the Continental, or the English saddle, or puppy pants. But now it's been relaxed that we can now show in any trim. Uh, so that suggests you can still show a corded poodle? Yes, you can, yes. What exactly does it take to, to get a corded poodle? Um, that's quite interesting actually because I actually do a cordy poodle here. Um, basically, cords are formed naturally um, and it's a case of just keeping them divided and separated and creating the, the cords and as the dog gets older they've become um, heavier and thicker. And as we're talking about showing dogs, as a breed they have had just about more success than, than any other. Crufts alone, best yeah. in show, there have been yeah. four different standard poodle winners. What is it about a standard poodle that makes them such good show dogs? I th they're very elegant dogs. They're very showy, they're very confident, they're very happy. The show ring is their place, really. They're very clever dogs, very amenable as well. And you often find a, a poodle doing um, a lot of the other canine disciplines that are, that are out there, such as obedience, fly ball, agility. When uh, a puppy buyer is looking for a standard poodle, is there anything in particular they should be looking for? Do's um, and don'ts? Just Make sure both parents have been health tested. Generally, if you go to a show home, they are bred to improve confirmation and improve everything about the breed. Yes. And if that's the case, they're breeding you know, a quality, sound dog, hopefully. And again, things like doodles. Can you advise anyone on do's and don'ts with regards to doodles? <laughs> that's a good one. Um, I think... I don't think people actually realise what they're taking on when they take on the doodles because if you say to them, would you go and buy a poodle, generally their answer is no because when you ask them why, because there's a lot of work in them and actually there's exactly the same amount of work in the doodle and people do not realise that because they're often told they don't need grooming. They come in here at four months old and you break the news to them that they have, we have to see them every you know, four to six weeks. Um, they are quite shocked. Um, and what about maintenance of a standard poodle? There's clearly a lot yes, that goes into, a lot it. That goes into it. <laughs> You, you wouldn't necessarily keep them like this for, as a pet, um, only for the fact it's, it's just so much work and so much time and effort needs to go into it. If you're buying a puppy, I would say that you'd need to visit a groomer around about every six weeks. But I mean, as a normal pet trim, put a brush for them every week or so at home um, and that gets them through. But anything like this, this is daily grooming. This is not, you know, once a week job. <laughs> <laughs> and we've seen Ebony here. She's up and down like a jack in a box. Yes. Exercise. What's their requirement? Yeah, they do need um, quite a bit of exercise. They are a breed which, if anything like her, if it's raining, she's loath to go out in it. Um, but on a bright sunny day, yes, yeah, she's out there running around and getting absolutely filthy. You know, they, they will take as much exercise as you give them, but they, you know, are not stir crazy when you leave them and they can't get out for the day. And, and what about life with children? Are they a great family Very, dog? Really, really good. As long as the children respect the dog, you, the dog will respect them. Yeah. Um, that's, that's vitally important. You know, they're quite bouncing, quite mad around the house, the dogs, but when the children's up and, you know, learn to walk, they are so careful around them. It's quite amazing to watch, because normally they just steamroll through anything that's in his way.